Hey there everyone, this is Danielle playing some Spyro 3 Year of the Dragon. Last time we finished off Ripto's Rage, you can see it says 87%. That's because I haven't done the speedway stages. Uh, all the regular platforming stages are 100%ed. Uh, same deal with the first game, I've done everything but the speedway stages. Apparently those are a substantial part of the games. Um, so yeah, we're going to play Year of the Dragon, which is the final part of this original PlayStation trilogy. Uh, this was followed by, I think, Enter the Dragonfly for the next-gen consoles, the PS2 and GameCube and all that, and that one was received pretty poorly, which is probably why it wasn't included in this remake. Um, you have the Dragon I, I know nothing about. We are going to discover what this game is now. Um, yeah, as I, as I mentioned, like, way back when, I played this game as a kid. I played this game a bit more recently with, like, emulators and stuff. Uh, this game I've just never played at all, so I don't know what to expect. Uh, some little bit of lag there as it tries to load up the game. An evil plot unfolds. Okay. Sounds evil. This is the loading screen. That's what's taking so long to tell me about the evil plot unfolding. Heck, it sure does. <laughs> Okay, this just looks looks like the artisan's homeworld, so is there something going wrong? Oh, it's a bunny. Evil bunny? Oh no, the eggies! Why is Hunter here? Isn't he from another universe? Get her. Stop her. Like, H Hunter was from the, the Glimmer world or whatever. A powerful villain emerges. Okay, so she's to capture the eggs, your highness. Every last one. Excellent. Maybe you will amount to something after all. Now go guard the tunnels. Stop anyone from coming through. Okay, so the big bad is a lizard with a lot a lot of lipstick, I guess. A desperate rescue begins. The eggs. The holes came out on the other side of the dragon worlds. We found some of the eggs, but they were too heavy to carry back. The other side of the world? The Forgotten Realms. Spyro, you'll have to go. Nobody else can fit down the holes. Yeah, come on! You're all dragons, you can fly! Oh my god. Find the eggs and bring them back, Spyro. You're our only chance. You got it. Yeah. Okay, that was a bit of a silly introduction, but I guess we're in the game now. Uh, we've still got our good old sunglasses on, so that's pretty cool. Let's start grabbing some gems. Uh Okay, got some gems. Purples are worth five now, which is interesting. They were worth more before, I'm pretty sure. What were they? I can't remember. Can I dive yet? Uh, I think this water's just not deep enough to dive in, so I can't really tell. Uh, let me see, we've got the same butterflies from, from two that give you an extra life as well as healing you. Water doesn't hurt, just like in two. You can swim around on the surface if you want. I don't know if we can dive yet. We'll see. Um, there's an egg. 
That was really easy. Um, do I just touch it? Isabel. Oh! Uh, okay, so they hatch when Spyro gets to them? Or well, they just kind of hatch anyway, it's just a coincidence that they hatched when I got to them. What, what's happening here? <laughs> hmm. <laughs> hmm. Okay, so the eggs are working like orbs, as you can see. Uh, there's, a there's more treasure in this game. Uh, there's 100 150,000 instead of 10,000 or whatever it was. 100,000? Oh, something's happening. So, you're the one in charge of rescuing the eggs, huh? <laughs> How sad. Look here, dragon. If you know what's good for you, you'll turn around and crawl back into that hole you came through. Those eggs belong to us now, and I've hidden them in places you'll never find in a thousand years. I already found one. Even if you could find any eggs, our expertly trained armies would hunt you down and take them back. Do I make myself clear? If I find you here again, I am going to be very angry. And you won't like me when I'm angry. <laughs> <laughs> oh god, what a villain. <laughs> That's pretty funny. <laughs> oh my goodness. Uh, Sunny Villa is here. Um, I might just stick in the home world for the moment and head in there later. How did money bags get here? He's way too big to fit down the hole. And he's from another universe. Oh my, my. How funny to see you here. Why, I haven't seen you since we defeated Ripto in Avalar. <laughs> well, How did you get here from Avalar? went into a slump after you left, so I came here and struck up a nice deal with the local sorceress. Oh, okay, he's a villain. very fond of dragons, too. The sorceress I see. asked me to guard Sheila the kangaroo. I suppose if you had a bit more money, I'd be willing to let her escape. And then you could keep her for a pet or something. She, she's a person. Okay, I assume I need to rescue her so she can, like, help me get up there, for example? Because she's a kangaroo, she can jump high, I'm guessing. I don't know, again, I haven't played this game. Um, also, I need to rescue her because she's a person and she's been trapped in a cage. Hi Hunter, why are you not in Avala? I just found one of those portal thing in the jigs that leads to a different world. But you'll have to glide to get across to it. Press the jump button, then press jump again while you're in the air to glide. Just follow me. How are you gonna glide? Oh he didn't, he just jumped really high. Alright then. Now he comes back to tell you some more information. Doesn't matter. Maybe I'm... something shiny in that cave over there. Let's go check it out. You can get there by hover. To hover just Okay, yeah, hovering, yeah. I'm guessing there'll be a dragon egg at the end of this little little tutorial, and that's why Hunter's making me do it. Oh, I almost forgot. I found this egg. Wow, thanks. I thought the egg would be in the cave, but it's not. Hunter had it. That, that's just silly. Uh, Alright. Do you want to jump down here? Uh, yeah, it looks like it. Well, I can get flying ability, but there's also a bunch of stuff just on the ground that I want. So, am I supposed to be flying or not? Unless the flying is just to help me get back out of this cave once you've got everything, which is possible. How are we doing? Out of 400? So yeah, similar sorts of numbers to the previous game. The fact that it's got, you know, one third, one third again as much treasure suggests there might be four worlds instead of three, which would be cool. Uh, let me 
me see. Yeah, I think you're just supposed to use the flying thing to get back out of the cave when you've got everything. Because otherwise there's no way out. Oh no, there's a little whirlwind. Alright, well, I'm confused. I don't know what the point of that was. Hmm. And the whirlwind took away my flying, so I can't, you know, use it out here in the main area. That was the learn gliding one, right? Yeah. Hang on, there's something called fly through the cave. Is that what I was supposed to do? Like, I didn't see anywhere else to go. I'm confused. Uh, I'm just gonna keep grabbing gems on the ground here and... Uh, think about that in a little bit. <laughs> what the heck? How did you get ahead of me, Hunter? Okay, so I can already dive underwater, and that's a little tutorial for that ability. I don't need to buy it from money bags like in the previous game, which is probably because I already got it in the previous game. Special task for Sparks. Uh, all right, and that's Zoe, who also lives in Avalar. What is everybody doing here from the previous game? Because they were from a different universe. Like, Hunter's just in like the artisan's homeworld for no apparent reason. And apparently Zoe's here too, but we can't see her. That's a hot air balloon. Is that like from the first game? We're gonna use hot air balloons to travel around again? Cause that would be cool. I like hot air balloons. <laughs> it's Bruce. Hi Bruce, uh, watch out, you're underwater, and dragons used to be like really weak to water, so it's possible you're still weak to it because you're a baby. I, I don't know. <laughs> uh, oh yeah, swimming controls. They're, they're something. If you could breathe fire underwater, I think the swimming would be less annoying. Like, it wouldn't make as much sense, but you wouldn't have to charge into everything. You could, like, go up using the slower swim, get you more control, and then you could get the stuff once you've swum up to it, and it'd be easier. Hmm. Uh, that needs 14... 14 eggs? Why? Why would it start working again when you find when I find dragon eggs? I, there's no connection between those two things. Like in the pre in the previous game, like the orbs were literally used to power portals, but in this one, the dragon eggs. When we find them, they hatch and the dragon leaves. Like we're not using the eggs for power; we're just sending the dragons home. And they're presumably not powering stuff on this side of the world because they're on the opposite side of the Dragonlands. I, <sighs> I just have a lot of questions. <laughs> uh, I think about this sort of thing a lot. Uh, you need 20 to go in there. I'm guessing that's where the boss is. So it looks like this one, rather than having like a mandatory artifact in each level, it might just be quota-based progression like in the first game, uh, which is cool. Uh, I like that better than requiring you to do every level. Although you can have that and require you to do every level, which is what Odyssey does, and I love that game, so, you know. Hi, Liam. Oh, you're a little chumby. That's cute. Interesting that the, they didn't don't have a way to get hints from the baby dragons, like... Like, it feels a lot like the first game's, like, frozen dragons, but because they're babies, they don't know anything. Maybe they should have had it that, like, Spyro gives the dragon a hint when they're born or something, and that's how you learn, like, stuff, because you hear what Spyro tells them. I don't know. I'm just, I'm just, like, spitballing here. Um, how are we doing? Fly through the cave is apparently the only one we haven't got yet, and I know I can fly by going down into that hole back there. So let's give that a shot. And then we'll probably do a level because the homeworlds are not usually that big in this game. Uh, this is a super fly power up, Spyro. Yeah, I, I know that. Thanks, Zoe. Do you want me to use it or... I, I guess I'll use the super fly power up and see what happens. Ah, 
Oh, oh, I didn't say that. Oh, okay. Okay, that makes sense. Oh, you got a little bow. That's adorable. Why were you born with a little bow? That's kind of strange. <laughs> uh, I won't have enough treasure for money bags. I guess let's go into this first level. Uh, also, I guess the rest of the treasure is... Oh, no, there's some over there. Okay, I actually did miss some. I thought maybe it was all locked behind that door that I couldn't open, but it's not. It might be now, though. Uh, I guess, let's go into Sunny Villa and give that one a quick look. Hi, Spyro. To look left Hi. And right, use the right... Yeah, I know. I know how to work the camera. Thank you. Sunny Villa. Let's go. Entering Sunny Villa. Oh, it's doing the little treasure tallying thingy. Nice. I forget whether Spyro 2 does that. Because it's been a while since we went somewhere with any treasure. Loading. Shame we couldn't bring any of the gems we found in the previous game with us. That would make, like, paying money bags off pretty quick. Oh, no cutscene? Okay, so this game doesn't have story cutscenes for each area like the previous one did. Alright. And burn a tree, though. Hmm. What have we got? Okay, just a bunch of eggs and treasure. So yeah, this seems a bit closer to Spyro 1 than to Spyro 2, which is interesting. Oh my, oh my, can you help us? Hordes of ferocious rhinox have overrun our town and kidnapped the mayor. Yeah, I'll help you. These guys are the rhinox? Alright. And they drop gems when you beat them? Okay, so yeah, this is this is closer to Spyro 1 than Spyro 2. Interesting. I wonder if you still get pearls if you beat enemies you've already beaten. Go for a little swim. Oh, whoa, don't go that way. Hmm. So I guess the power-ups aren't powered by defeating enemies in this game? Like, the super fly power-up we already found just kind of worked. I don't know if that's true of all the power-ups in the game, but... Certainly true of that one. Hello! What bullies? Can I go through there? I need to go from somewhere else. Charge. You'll have to flame him using the attack button. Uh, that's what I've been doing the whole time, but alright. <laughs> like, I, ha I don't think I've charged any enemies in this game yet. <laughs> uh, I assume we'll have to, but it hasn't come up yet. Hi. Spyro. Each time Hi. Fairy zaps you, like this, it means your progress has been saved. If you get into trouble, you'll return to the last place you got zapped. Thanks, Zoe. I, I knew that already, but thanks for explaining it, I guess. So I can charge this guy? Yeah, I can. Alright. I kind of assumed I couldn't because they've got armor, but I guess it's not very good armor. Vanessa! Oh, look at the little bow. Cute. I like the little bows. Is there anything down there? Mm, it doesn't look like it. Is 
take that tree. <laughs> uh, oh, there's some more over there. Hang on. I kind of like the sort of Roman style that they're going with here. It, look, it looks neat. Can I open these doors? Like, maybe? They, they look like they could be interacted with. There's like a big knob or something in the middle there. I don't know if that's like decorative. Oh. Chicken? What has happened? They, they killed a chicken? I guess? Whoa, I'm busy. Thanks for the help. You're welcome. No, oh, it's just, just a Shallow puddle. I thought I might be able to dive down and find some exciting treasure, but no. Oh, here's the other side of this gate. Can I can I open it, or is it just going to be annoying forever? Um... I'm sorry. That was the ugliest chicken I've ever seen. <laughs> okay. <laughs> yeah. I think the problem with dragon eggs as is, is a re reward instead of orbs is that, like, it, they belong to you in the first place. So having people... Whoa, what is going on here? Is, what is happening? Hey Spyro, I found this gladiator training arena that also makes for a pretty cool skate park. Care I bet you can't catch all 15 lizards running... Uh... Am I... What is happening? What? <laughs> oh, these are lizards. Okay. I mean, they're pretty much like dragons. So, um, when I was playing Tony Hawk's Pro Dragon... <laughs> Why? <laughs> you can't really adjust your speed, by the way. It's, it's not a very good skateboarding game. Uh, I wonder if I can do tricks. Not really. Unless I just don't know the button to use, which is possible. Oh no, there's a trick! Uh, that was, uh, what was that? What button's that? It's the X button on this controller. I don't know what it normally does. Completely forgotten. So yeah, you can do some tricks, which is nice. It's not the best skateboarding game I've ever played, <laughs> but it sort of works, I guess. <laughs> Can I grind on stuff? That'd be cool. That's not grinding. Oop, oh, no. Break my skateboard. We can get a fresh one though. Um, I'm pressing the button I'm guessing is grind, which is the charge button, because it's in the same spot grind would be, but it doesn't seem to be doing anything. So, oop. <laughs> do you actually need to use the skateboard? I think you can probably do most of this as just Spyro. Okay, if you hold uh, charge, it doesn't seem to do anything. If you hold, uh, I think it's the free look button, then you can do all sorts of wacky tricks and stuff. 
But they don't give you any points or anything, so I don't know why you'd bother. Apart from just cool factor, I guess. Come here, lizard. Oh no, I broke a skateboard. Oh wow, Spyro can't even walk up these ramps. Okay, I, I assumed he could, but no, you, you can't you can't walk up there as regular Spyro. That's kind of ridiculous, but all right. What? Why does this game have a skateboarding section? <laughs> this is so weird. <laughs> I mean, it's fun, but it's it's super weird. I don't think flapping your wings like this actually affects your airtime either, which is annoying. You think it would, but it doesn't seem to. Ah, uh, broke my board. This is definitely how skateboarding works. The board breaks and you are completely fine. Keep this in mind if you ever wish to skateboard. You will be totally safe and your board will be the only thing that breaks. The reason the board likes to break if it lands like that, which would not happen in a real skateboarding game. Like, you, you can absolutely come back down facing the same way. It's just probably not a good idea. <laughs> Take that, lizard. I assume there'll be something in this game that wants you to actually do tricks on the skateboard, or they wouldn't have bothered to put the trick system in, right? But here, you don't have to do any tricks, you just have to attack lizards. Oh, hang on, lizard skating one. Maybe there's one that you have to do with has some tricking involved, we'll see. I would like to be able to grind, I do that a lot in proper skateboard games. I find it very helpful, but it doesn't seem like you can do it in this one. Hey, that was great! And while you were boarding, I found this in a lizard burrow. Oh, it's Emily. Oh, cute. Look at that little tongue. Okay, difficult boarding challenge. Is it still 15 lizards or a different number of lizards? It's still 15, and you can't wipe out. This is much harder, yeah. Because the skateboarding controls here are not great. And you know, it took me quite a long time. <laughs> um, hmm. Are they in the same positions? It looks like it. Stuck on the wall or something. Uh, let's try this again. So the fact that there's all these different spots to get a fresh skateboard doesn't really matter anymore because if you wipe out once, it resets everything. Hmm. I mean, I guess this is more like a real skateboarding game because, you know, you're not supposed to wipe out in a real skateboarding game. It does have consequences, but still. Hmm. Uh, 
The way it works is fairly intuitive. It's like in a proper skateboarder when you uh, go up, up a ramp or whatever. If you're pushing forward, then you go onto it rather than going up and over. Like, like that, that's me pushing forward. Whereas if I don't push forward, you do this instead. I think that was a bad example because that one you couldn't do anything else. Okay, no, I wasn't pushing forward that time, so I don't know how this works. This is a confusing game. Okay, 11 out of 15. You actually have bags of time to do this. It is not, not, di it's not difficult. Um... Having said, it's not difficult. I'm probably about to wipe out, but hopefully we can at least get a couple more lizards before we do. <laughs> um... No! Seriously? Okay, let's try this again. Remember how the orb challenges were the most annoying part of the previous game? Yeah. Time to do a mini game that isn't quite as well implemented as the base game. <laughs> Here we go. <laughs> It's kind of messed up that Sparrow's attack these guys that look very much like dragons. I think I mentioned this earlier. But yeah, it's a little questionable. <laughs> Officially they're lizards, but I mean, they're pretty similar to dragons. Um, three more. Where are they? Where's one? Where are the other two? <laughs> Seriously, where, where are they? I already went through here, right? Yes. What? <laughs> oh, my board break broke for no reason, so um, let's start over. Um... Two. I'm guessing there's only two because it's called the difficult boarding challenge, so there probably isn't like a third one. So that's a bit, bit of consolation, I suppose. Oh, I just touched that one and defeated it. That works too. <laughs> uh, what do we still got? It's a couple over this way. Come here, foolish lizard. That's 11. Where are the other four? Thirteen. Um. Oh, there's one up there. Oh, right, up there. Forgot about that. 
Okay, um... How do you get up there? Oh, right, there's a ramp there. Okay, yeah, that's pretty straightforward. Uh, let's just go around. Nice big turning circle. Just to be sure we don't... Uh, alright. I guess we're going back the other way. We're supposed to come in from the other side or something? Okay. Uh, yep, get another egg. It's Daisy. Oh, a little friend. Oh, chasing tail, chasing tail. Dragons are puppies. Is that all we have to do? Offer now? Okay, so now we can actually get points. Right? Okay, so now it's an actual skating sim. Okay, I see. <laughs> That wasn't even worth points. I did like a full front flip thingy. I don't know what the names for things are in skateboarding. Eh, doesn't matter. Let's get going. Apparently I get to... Hang on, the, the timer didn't stop. Just the... Did the points reset or did I just keep going up? What's going on? Whoa! Okay, no, yeah, there we go. That reset. Well, I guess I'm done in here, as far as I can tell. Unless there's some more gems in here I missed, which is possible. Uh, sparks can't detect things while I'm skating. And just break the board, there we go. What are you indicating, Sparks? I think that's the exit. Yeah, okay. See ya, Hunter. I don't know how you even got here, but... See ya. Oh, hang on. Yeah, so the rest of the stuff is somewhere else. <sighs> we got off to a bit of a weird start with, uh... With that. Uh, let's see, we got frogs, we got frogs. I wonder if those doors that were closed are open now, like, the gate is gone, so maybe some of the other doors are opened up as well? Doesn't look like it, though. Hmm. How much treasure are we missing? Quite a bit, we're missing like a hundred treasure. Hmm. Oh, hello, hang on, there's something there. Oh wow, this is quite a view. Um, okay, let's just make our way around the outside first, because there's clearly some treasure hanging out here. Okay, and then I guess we want to glide to those platforms. And we can head over here, where there's another egg hanging out. Hello, little leggy. Miles. Oh, good catch. That was cute. How are we doing treasure-wise? Okay, we're still short about a hundred. Hmm. Must be some extra stuff I haven't spotted yet. Get an extra life, though. That's always good. I mean, it'd be better if the game didn't have extra lives, and so you didn't need to get them, but that's just my opinion. Um, maybe the big chicken's got something to do with it? Hey, big chicken. Look, a chicken turned up. I hope it's not the only one left. Yeah, I hope so too. Um, does it do anything? Doesn't look like it. Hmm. What do you want me to do, game? <laughs> oh, hang on, hang on. I need to climb back up there, because there's actually another door. 
<sighs> this level design could be a little more telegraphic than it is, and that maybe would help things a little bit. <laughs> uh, okay, let's go up this way. Then we want to go over there. Yeah. Oh! Sheila the kangaroo, right. So we need to bring her here and then we can do the rest. Okay, uh, so do I need to exit this stage and come back? I guess I can do that. Uh, I can afford to free her, I've got enough gems. So if I just head to the exit, we can go and get her and come back. Yeah, I know. I'm starting to figure out how this game works. <laughs> Returning to Sunrise Spring. Yeah, we've got plenty of treasure. We can definitely afford to free Sheila. And then I guess we can go to Sheila's area? Once we head back into the level? I, I don't know. This is roughly similar to buying a character, to buying um, new moves from money bags and that you need to use, except that the moves you get from money bags you pretty much need to get to get through the home world. Whereas here it looks like you just only need, you only need them in the stages. Hmm. Anyway, let's go free Sheila. Hello. To keep Sheila the kangaroo locked up. <laughs> this pesky animal must have been causing a lot. Sure, I'll pay. Spyro, I love your sweet naivete. Your kind hearted. God, money bags is evil. I, uh, I hope you appreciate this favor I'm doing in letting you out. That's good of you, mate. No hard feelings, eh? Right. Oh, she's Australian. Oh, of course she is. Oh, nice. I like her. <laughs> I reckon you be one of them dragons then. Yeah, name's Spyro. Never thought I'd see one. You dragons used to rule this entire world, you know. Then all of a sudden you left. Poof. Dragons used to live here? Isn't this part of the dragon world? They say it was over a thousand years In the opening cuts and they said this is a far part of the dragon world. Yeah. And the weird thing is, after they left, all the magic in the world just sort of went with them. I mean, they say this world used to have magic coming out of the wazoo. Flying ships, singing forests, wishing stones, you name it. But when the dragons left, it all just dried up. Is that why some of the portals don't work? Yeah, they're starting to fade out too, one by one. Well, I gotta get back home and do some damage control. Come visit anytime you like. Sheila's Alp. I guess that's where she lives? Can I use the sign to summon her or something? No, it doesn't do anything. Alright, well, uh, let's go back into the level and see if we can finish it now that we've freed her. I guess that's supposed to be why the portals don't work. Like, when you get the dragons back, there's more magic in the world and so the portals work, but... You're taking the dragons out of this part of the dragon world and sending them home, right? That should reduce the overall amount of magic if the dragons are the source of magic. Or are you not sending them home? Are you just having them like congregate somewhere on this side? And because Spyro was was the only dragon here who was hatched, there was only magic from Spyro, but now there's magic from the dragon eggs as well. I don't know what to make of this. Uh, let's find out if. Uh, did I already talk to you? Do these guys drop pearls now? Uh, looks like I don't drop anything. Huh. That's a little boring. Um, anyway, let's go find Sheila. She was up here, right? Oh, okay, so I actually have to go to a home world to... Uh... Okay, we're gonna call this a video, I think. Because, um... yeah, all the remaining treasure is behind that door, and I can't open it without Shayla's help. And I don't want to do a whole nother level in this video. It's already reaching a bit long for a Spyro video. So, uh, we're gonna call this the intro, and then uh, Sunny Villa Part 1. 
<laughs> Next time we're going to do Sheila's Alp and then come back and do Sunny Villa Part 2. So, thanks for watching. I hope you enjoyed. That's it for this video. Bye! <laughs>